So in your own time, you're going to sit back on the backs of your heels towards the very back of your mat with the rest of the mat in front of you. First thing you do is check that there is nothing on the side of your mat. So in case as you build up the levels and you lose the balance, at least you don't do any harm to yourself. So sitting comfortably, most of you in here know the posture well, but still I'll talk you through. Thread the needle, Majari Asanya. Open the knees as wide as the mat. You find yourself sitting in the arches of your feet. Your thumbs are still working the arches of the feet. Reach, grab hold of the quadricep muscles. Good grip on them so you get engaged with those muscles as you start to lift your bum slowly away from your heels. Let the thigh muscles do the work. Once you're on your knees, lean forward, plant your palms on the mat. So the big toes are touching, ease are wide. And your right hand walks behind the left along the floor till the shoulder drops to the mat and so does your forehead. Eyes closed, turn your head, bring your chin as close to the left shoulder as possible. Maybe the side of the head, maybe the back of the head is on the mat. That's when you release your left hand up, eyes are open, fingers are wide, and see if the fingers can disappear a little bit from peripheral vision. This is level one. Always remembering that you're going to build the levels as time goes by. Any stage it's enough, come back out, sit back, watch. Second level, left toes tucked onto the mat towards the outer edge of the mat. Then you straighten up the left leg. Back of the head rolls onto the mat and the back of the left hand heads towards the floor. Eyes are open. Breathing is slightly restricted. Then the left leg, straighten it out. Take it up to 45 degrees. Bend at the left knee. Reach with the left hand. Grab hold of the front of the left foot. Once you've got that, push the knee slightly away from your face. Now it's about balance. So your right foot begins to come up. You find the arch with the inside of your left knee. And that happens. Release the left foot. Release the left hand. Let it go beyond your head with the back of the palm on the floor. and start to come back out. Knee on the floor, press the palm, come up, keep the knees wide and sit back on the backs of your heels. Hands drop to the side. I tend to automatically go and rub my thumbs into the arches of my feet. Again, just stay engaged with the body. Do the other side. Grab hold of the quadricep muscles. Start to lift up away from the heels till you come up onto your knees. It's when you fold forward and plant your palms on the mat. Knees are wide, big toes are touching, palms directly underneath the shoulders. Your left hand walks behind the right, along the floor, 
till the shoulder drops. Then you begin to turn your head. Bring your chin as close to the right shoulder as you can. Releasing the right hand up and allowing the fingers, which are wide open, to disappear from peripheral vision. Second level, right toes tucked onto the mat, towards the edge of the mat, straightening out the right leg and beginning to guide the back of the head on the mat and back of the right hand towards the floor behind you. Right leg lifts up to 45 degrees. Then let the right knee reach with the right hand, grab hold of the front of the foot, and then gently guide the right knee away from your face. Final, bring the left foot up, find the arch and the knee, and you release the right foot and release the right hand. And start to come back out. Pull the hand back. Sit on the backs of the heels. Bring the knees together. Torso nice and upright. Breath in and out. Good.